Hi, DJ Professor Lee here, and uh, today's video is just a real quick video because someone had asked a question about how to map Virtual DJ, and um, there are a number of videos on how to do this. I recommend highly that you find those videos. You can find them on the Virtual DJ website. You can find them on the Virtual DJ official um, Facebook page. If you're using Virtual DJ 7, Chris Anson has done some awesome videos. If you're using Virtual DJ 8, Adam Whitehall, Whitehall has also done some awesome videos. Echo Papa has done some videos, and there are a lot of other people producing videos on a regular basis. So I thought, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and do a real quick one, just so I'll have something for my YouTube page. And um, here we go. So let's say, for example, um, I want to be able to access my settings. And I don't want to have to use my keyboard uh, to, to go up and do that. Because if you use your keyboard, like for example, this is a skin called uh, Controller by Dinyo. And uh, if I go up to this little wheel, click on that, okay, no problem. And then I got to go and, and find whatever I need to find. Quick way to do that is to initially go into Settings. Go ahead and click on Key Learn. Decide what key that I want to use. I suggest you go ahead and do that ahead of time so you know what you're going to be doing once you're in here. My suggestion is, and I think most people would agree, is that it's probably a good idea wherever you can use uh, multiple keys. In other words, use the shift key or the control key or the alt key plus a letter or number, which will make it less likely that you're going to hit the wrong key during uh, an open event. I've only had that happen once, but it's it's once too many, one too many times. So I suggest that you do that. So right now I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to hold down the letter O key. And what happens is, is that this box down here gets populated. Now I clicked on that box. I don't know if you saw that. I clicked on that box and now it's giving me my, my key combination here already in the, the list of possible keyboard shortcuts. And it's just waiting for me to add an action. I go to the action field and I'm going to type in... Um, my keyboard shortcut, which I happen to know is settings. That's what I'm going to use. If I'm not sure what it is, these are the different categories or that you can look through to find what kind of actions are available for you. But if you already know what the particular action is, you can just, just start typing. So for example, settings. As I type, it starts making suggestions. Well, it turns out that's exactly the one that I want. After you have done that, you see that everything looks fine, just click anywhere outside of the box and then double check to make sure it has set. If you see it listed here, pretty much you're, all, you're good to go. Let's go check it out. Go back to my main screen, hold down the letter, letter, hold down the shift key, click the letter O, and there I am. I'm back into my, my settings. Let's say while I'm in here, I want to also be able to unload tracks from a deck. Then, again, what I'll do is I'll go down to the Key Learn field, go ahead and click on it. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and this time I'm going to learn use the letter U. So letter O was for options, you know, you get the idea. Letter U for unload. It's good to have some kind of logic. It'll help you remember. At least it helps me remember. And uh, go ahead and hit that. That was Shift plus U. Make sure I click on it so that it gets populated here. It's waiting for me to enter in the particular action that I want to use. Go ahead and put my cursor there. Type in unload. It gave me a good suggestion, which was right on the money. Click anywhere, and I see that it is set. Let's go check it out. Go ahead and load a track on a deck. Make sure my cursor is already set. Uh, well, the tab key, use the tab key to get there. Hold down shift and it unloads it. Now if you haven't played the track for more than a couple of minutes, it'll put it in the side list. And for those of you who are just wondering, the reason these tracks are red with an X through it is because with this particular skin, that's how it notates tracks that have already been played. So for example, if I look in my already played folder, that's that's what that is. All right. So I, I hope you found this video useful and helpful. I will put the specific uh, keyboard up. Uh, shortcuts in the description down below and um, I hope you have a good one. That's it for me. I'm DJ Professor Lee. I look forward to talking to you again soon.